Bom dia, I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 98. First up, let's take a look at the new full page accessibility tree. In the Elements panel, select an element and open the accessibility pane. You can view the old accessibility tree here. The view is limited because it only enables you to explore the selected node and its ancestors. To get an overview of the full page accessibility tree, enable the new full page accessibility tree and reload the page. Click on the new accessibility button to toggle the view of the pages accessibility tree or DOM tree. You can expand an element or select it to view its area attributes and computed properties in the accessibility pane. Please note that this is a preview feature. Our team is still actively working on it. Send us your feedback via goo.girl slash devtools dash a11y dash 3 dash feedback. Next, devtools now displays more precise code changes in the changes tab. Open the changes tab via escape three dot menu changes. Make some code changes in the styles pane. The code changes in the changes tab are pretty printed automatically now. Previously, it was hard to trace the actual changes, especially for minified source code, because all the code is shown in a single line. Next, you can now adjust the timeout settings for your recording. For example, I would like to test my menu item. To do that, I need to first click to load the menu and then click on the menu item. It takes a long time to load the menu. When replaying my actions above, it returns an error due to timeout. We can adjust the timeout settings by expanding the step and change it to 6 seconds. Try to replay the user flow now and you will see it run successfully. Optionally, if you have a user flow with a lot of slow requests, you can adjust the timeout value for all the steps in the replay settings. Go to goo.girl slash devtools dash recorder to learn how to record, replay, and measure your user flow. Next, use the new back forward cache tab to test your pages for BF cache eligibility and identify any issues. BF cache is a browser optimization that enables instant back and forward navigation. Here is a video of BF cache in action to help you understand the speed up it can bring to navigation. As web developers, it's critical to understand how to optimize your pages for BF cache because it will significantly improve the browsing experience for your users, especially those with slower networks or devices. To test a particular page, navigate to it in Chrome and go to the Application panel, Back Forward Cache tab in DevTools. Click the Test Back Forward Cache button. DevTools will attempt to navigate away and back to determine whether the page could be restored from BF Cache. If the page is not catchable, the tab will list out the reasons and give an indication if the reason is something you as a developer can address. Go to web.dev slash bfcache to learn more on how to optimize your page for bfcache. Next, the Properties pane has a new filter bar. In the Elements panel, select an element and navigate to the Properties pane. All the properties with now and undefined are hidden by default now. To view all the properties, enable the Show All checkbox. If you want to focus on a specific property, type that property name or value in the filter text box to find it. Next, a quick one. The Flexbox editor now supports row reverse and column reverse options. Select a Flexbox element. In the Styles pane, click on the icon next to the Flex declaration to open the Flex editor. Under the Flex direction, Click on the Row Reverse and Column Reverse options to change the item direction. Next, you can emulate a Force Color mode in DevTools. When a Force Colors mode is enabled, 
it enforces a user chosen limited color palette on the page. Windows High Contrast Mode is an example for this. To simulate that, open the command menu with Ctrl Shift P, run the show rendering command, and then set the Emulate CSS Media feature Force Colors dropdown to active. Here is a bonus tip. Use the document.design mode to edit your design right in the browser. In the console, turn on the document.design mode with this line. Then you can edit the text on screen, drag and change the image position, and more. This feature is useful for you to play around with the design, make some changes before taking a screenshot or printing it out. Once you are done, just set the same property to off and seal your work. All right, there are more new features in Chrome DevTools 98. As usual, go to the video description for the link to my blog post and other information. Thanks for watching. See you in four weeks for Chrome 99. Bye.